Hello, my name is Kirill Aramenko. I'm a data scientist with over six years of experience, and today I'm here to really bring a data edge to this course. Now, this section is designed to help you develop a way to deal with data sets very quickly and derive those valuable insights efficiently. As you'll see, at the very start, I'll give you a blueprint, which I have developed for dealing with data sets that you get after a marketing campaign. So you'll notice that it's in a standardized format, but pretty much any marketing effort that you conduct can be brought down to this format. So you'll see that we have columns for independent variables such as age and gender, and we have a column for a dependent variable, which is the outcome, whether or not a person purchased the product, whether or not a person subscribed to your email list and so on. So pretty much any marketing uh, effort that you do can be brought into that format. The data that you get after it can be presented like that. And then I will present you with a blueprint on how to analyze the data very, very quickly. And uh, specifically, we'll talk about the blueprint, then we'll have a look at a few examples of A-B tests. And moreover, I will encourage you to perform the A-B tests for the rem remaining variables ahead of time so that when we get to them together, you can compare your results to what we get. Then we'll talk about statistical significance, a very important topic that is often overlooked by marketers because of its uh, perceived complexity. But in reality, we will talk about this topic in a very simple manner and I'll show you an intuitive way of understanding statistical significance. Plus, I'll show you the online tools that you can use to quickly run the associated checks. Then we'll learn how to deal with non-categorical variables. So you see in uh, marketing, as you probably noticed, you have a lot of categorical variables such as A, such as gender, um, such as a different information like yes, no information you know about your uh, target audience. But at the same time, you also have uh, continuous variables such as age. And dealing with continuous variables can be a bit harder, but I'll show you a way how to uh, deal with them uh, also very efficiently so that they fall under that same blueprint. And uh, finally, at the end of uh, this section, I'll show you a bonus tutorial where we'll talk about some statistical anomalies that can help you understand your audience better. So all in all, it's going to be a pretty packed section, lots of data stuff, so prepare yourself for that. And my goal for the end of this section is that through these exercises, because it's going to be very, very practical, that you develop a very intuitive way of understanding your data and that you know, um, so it becomes second nature to you uh, to know how to deal with data sets that come your way. So I really look forward to walking you through this section and holding your hand all the way and we're going to have lots of exercises and lots of fun. Let's dive straight into it.